I'm Andre Lazar. What do you do for dominoes? Y'all know what it is. Let's go! Was requested, let's just say it like that. But y'all know I got my boys in the building. Should we do where you at? Yes, sir. Yes, house, 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 house. House. Then we got, you know, Donnell Stevenson, <laughs> make hey, hey. Call him Mr. Compassion. Right. And then we got y'all know the slickster from Inglewood. They call him Slick Rick, Rick right. Lockett. Hey, in good. the building. But more than that, we got something like never before. Now, usually y'all know how it is when you're mad. Sometimes you think you got your Praise cave or man cave or any kind of cave, and then what happens is it gets infiltrated. Who infiltrates it? Y'all know who they are. This is that lady right here. This is my wife. If you look around, we got a bunch of infiltration going on because we got a bunch of wives in here. And the reason why we did that is one thing we wanted to do. We wanted to share love. Okay, y'all know what we do here at, the, at Dudes and Dominoes. We provoke thought, we provoke action, and we provoke what? Love. And so what we want to do is talk about some love. We're going to do something called Couples Therapy. Yeah. Now, hopefully this will be a blessing to you and yours. And if not, it wasn't my fault. Come on, give God some praise, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is what I want you to do. All the fellas, I want you to go around and introduce your wife. We're going to start with you, Donnell. Go ahead, bro. Uh, I'm going to introduce my lovely wife, Tanya. Hey! <laughs> All right. Well, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a cardboard cutout of my wife. So <laughs> everybody knows she's working. And uh, but her name is Nadine. Absolutely. All right. All right. Well, and this is my longtime wife. Damn. I mean, a longtime wife, Jackie. All right. Since day, yes, this is my beautiful wife, Rhonda. Nadine. So we do. This is my savior for today. <laughs> my wife, uh, Gail Banks. All right. Yeah. That's what's up. Hey, we got one more right here. Young fella. This is my wife, Levette. 22 years of going strong. Oh. All right. Next right. Saturday will be our 22 year anniversary. Oh, all right. All right. Give it up for me. All right. So without further ado, this is called Couple Stairs. So I'm just going to be, not the therapist, I'm just going to be the intermediate. Y'all going to give each other therapy because I just got a few questions. I, I wrote down some questions, but then I said, you know what? I'm not going to use them. So. That's not fair. I'll use some of them. Yeah, All right, I'm not going to use them. No, low key there, some of the questions are good. But what I want to do, I want to start this off with something. What is the key to you, where you are in life? Because we got people that have been married 20 years, we got some been married 30 years, we got some been married less than 10 years, we got some been married in their 30 years or 20 years. So we got couples in different age groups. What I want to know is, what is the key component? I want you to just share. You ain't got a whole lot of time because you think about it. If everybody had three minutes, about 13, 14 of y'all, that would be a half hour. That would be the show, right? So just be brief, as brief as possible. Tell me, what's the component that got you to the place where you are now in what was the main ingredient that helped you all make it through? Yeah. So y'all, where y'all are today? We'll start with the lovely, the gorgeous, the beautiful, Melanie Tucker. Okay, hey everybody. Hey um, there. Hey okay. there. We've been married for uh, 31 years, and I would say um, one of the major components to bringing us where we are today is um, communication. Mm -hmm. Communication. Um, we have, through the years, I've learned to hear him better, he's learned to hear me better, and we've learned to communicate better. Okay, good stuff. Go ahead. Awesome. That's something you must have thought about when you saw the question. But go ahead. <laughs> Tanya, you next. All right. Uh, some of the things that have um, kept us together will be together six years next month, and um, I want to say respect. Mm. Okay. That's yeah. good. Down there? Yeah. Oh, I go back to the communication part. It's, it's, 
this number one. And, and sometimes you can communicate without even speaking. And she knows when I am. I'm having a bad day and vice versa. But I, I, I believe in communication. Mr. Locke. Sex. Books. I found a 
know she really hated him once as a little kid. I was like, damn. I didn't care. She likes sports too? Shit. Damn, boy, wait a minute. Where do I sign? I can hear it in his voice. Oh, what? What? But then after that, having sex for like the first 365 days, my relationship was important too. So anyway, all right, that's what's up. All right, Fargo. Wow, where do I begin? One of the things that I did uh, about my wife, my wife actually saved my life. Yeah. My marriage saved my life. Yeah. Yeah. And when she became pregnant with my first children, that was another thing that I would never let her go and never be behind her. Be, not being behind her, I mean being beside her. Mm -hmm. I would never let her, never walk alone. I think uh, I would say faith. Most oh, done him. Faith. faith. My faith has, uh, yeah, my upbringing and faith. Mm -hmm. They grounded yeah. me and I guess gave me a desire to want to stay. Your mom. No, your mom. Right. Right. So no, your mama. Right. I know. I ain't just. No, I didn't say. That. Right. I, I don't have to say my name. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yes, I see, absolutely. One of, I, I, I would say the main. I think one of the components that they, that has made us through is understanding. Understood. Understanding who you have, understanding what you have, mm -hmm. and understanding why you have it. Mm -hmm. Once you understand that, then there's a responsibility that goes along. Yeah. That's real good. That's right. That's That's right. So, with that being said, here's the next question. So, let's talk about. So, everybody, I start off with some softball question. You know, why your wife is so good. Right. Now, tell me this. Describe to me what is a successful marriage. And when you describe that, you tell me how does that mirror yours? Wow. Wait a minute. Now, this is, um, this is not uh, Oprah. <laughs> No, because you watch what's about to happen. Watch what's about to happen. That's a good question. You say watch what's about to happen. So good describe good. to me what is a successful marriage and then describe how and then explain how that mirror is yours. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Is that well, simple? That's simple. simple. Mel says she's ready to rock and roll. Yeah, she's ready. Well, Give it. Well, I think a successful marriage is not how good it is, but how you're able to get through the bad times. Mm. There you go. Yep. What how, she said. How you <laughs> able to get through them and overcome it okay. and still be like, you got me, I got you. Right. So I think that's, a, I, I see that as a successful marriage. And um, how I mirror that, is mm -hmm. that your question? Mm -hmm. How um, does your, your marriage, our marriage mirror how that? How does our marriage uh, mirror that? Well, um, our marriage mirrors that because we have had. Um, challenges in our marriage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, hey, no, Mel was a commander. Like, like, yeah. Like Mel. This ain't me. I'm, I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to run from it. People that we would never like, damn, that's your wife. She got to look about 3,000 pounds. Hey, real talk. That's good stuff. Yeah. But one thing she said, and so this is what's going to happen with this. As we go, I want y'all to chime in and what each other say. We might not get to everybody, but right. we want to chime in on something she said. Something she said. She said, say your, your successful marriage, describe it again. A successful marriage is not how good it is. It's how you're able to overcome and get through the bad things. All right. So when I hear that, y'all, and you all help me out, when you hear it's not how good it is, but it's how you get through the bad times. Yeah. Right. Right. So to me, that sounds like that. So that. So to me, that sounds like you can't. You can't have a successful marriage without, without a, a tribulation or a yes. struggle. Yes. Without right. a struggle. Right. Not without a struggle. Right. Yeah. 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 And why is that? 
That's the way it is. You have to grow. Drake, you have to go through something to be able to grow through something. Right. Right. There you go. So in essence, so in essence, when you and, and, and of course, you know, the rhetorical question, so to speak. Yeah. Because I'm not that naive. However, one thing I do want to share is and get out is through that is when you go through a situation, when you have a trouble in a situation, not only does it show you where you are, it it, it empowers you to go through. So in essence, you don't get power over where you've been until you get out of where you were. Yeah, right. man, that's good. That's yeah. just that but but it, but yeah. it goes back to what she was saying. It's growth. Yes, you know, because when you get into a relationship, man, everybody have aspirations of trying to achieve something. Right. You know, so when my wife, me and me and her met, she had it planned out. She said, "Baby, look, if you do this, this, and this, let me take care of this and this. We're gonna be from where we at now to the next level." Mm -hmm. And you know, as 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 a man, it's, I mean. You could be the worst dude in the world. Right. And most men have had checkered pads, you know, and did a lot of wild stuff in their lifetime. Sure. But you only got to make one good decision in your life. Yes. And that's the woman. Yes, it is. You look like a genius, man. Yes, you do. And in your whole life, I've, yeah. made, I've made thousands of bad decisions. Right. Uh -huh. I made one good one. Right. Come on now. Mm. And everybody think I'm smart. You don't I tell the young guys at work. Go ahead, I tell young guys at work. The worst thing you could do is marry the wrong one, man. Because it ain't nobody that's gonna be perfect. You'd be better off not getting married. But on the other hand, it's a thin line. I was gonna you say. need to try and find. No, I ain't talking about a perfect woman. The worst thing you could do, we know about wrong relationships. Mm -hmm. Where things that just went haywire. That's the worst thing you could do. Just don't get married. And it's hard to make a perfect uh, uh, assessment of who you're going to marry. But just, you'd be better off not getting married versus marrying the wrong So how person. do you recognize that? If I'm, a, if I'm a young man and I got a woman, how do you recognize not to marry her? How, I love her to life. So how do I recognize? Because you say Well, I say this. Because you got to well, realize, I say, realize what is love. Because love is different than everybody else. But I say this. All of us right here live with live a different kind of relationship life. Mm -hmm. And it is weird now. We we mm -hmm. messed it. We set up under each other when we wasn't on the phone. Mm -hmm. Gil was sitting right here. When we wasn't uh, doing that, we was it was all. Now it's all this. Mm -hmm. Their relationship is by way of phones and stuff. Mm -hmm. They don't even sit around each other no more. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about y'all don't know from sun up to setting down. They just sit around each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend's told me don't bring him no more. Can I say something? I like what Rick said. He said him and Nate Dean sat down in the beginning. Uh -huh. yeah. That was brilliant. Yeah, and that was smart stuff. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know to do anything like that. Right. I didn't even so think to do it. So let's plan. look at that. So let's look at that, right? So yeah. if you look Boy. at how was you and Nate they, they at that time? We were we met we were thirty we were thirty two. So, oh, you think no. about it. so you think about it, right. when different. I got married, I was 22 years old, so yeah. I was, that's a 10 year difference. Yeah. By the time I was 32, I think we almost had it together a little bit, right. we was on our way. You know what I mean? Right. So, right. so it, that matters, but to your point though, but to your point though, regardless of the age, I think that it's very important that you evaluate your relationship Prior yeah. to planning, you can't do it. If you don't plan, they say you plan to fail. Go ahead. Well, I think me and Tanya is the only couple here that actually on our second marriage. Right. So okay. No, that's true. Mm -hmm. So, and I think what helped us is she know what she wanted in the marriage mm -hmm. and what she did want mm -hmm. in her second marriage, and, and the same as me. I, and we we set goals. We knew what we wanted. We and, and, the, and the crazy thing about it was. We brought in when you just it's difficult when you bring in a blended family. Okay. Yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She had three, I had three, and 
she had two girls, and I had two girls and a boy just like her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the key was that it's the, the kids got along. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was love. Yeah, yeah. that's important. And, yeah. and the thing was, I never, ever, ever, ever told my kids to call her mom. Mm -hmm. She built their relationship with my kids. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And right now, they have no problem calling her mom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of helped. That's good shit. That's powerful. Yeah. You know, it's powerful. So, a tribute to her. Yes, it is. It's me. 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 It's but we passed that stage because we had the house by ourselves. But in the beginning, it was it was rough. Yeah. But we knew that we, the bottom line was we knew we wanted each other. Because you know what? I'll tell it just like these. These kids is going to grow up. Mm -hmm. They'll live their own life. <laughs> and we still going to be here. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And something you touched on, I want to get on as far as the blended family in a minute. But go ahead, Tanya. What, what, what would you share in this combo? I feel exactly the same way you do. It took it, it. It was a struggle in the beginning, but I mean, I'm just a person of knowing what I want and how to achieve it, and I just went for it. So I got a question about because you guys on your second marriage, and I think mm -hmm. this is really important. So do you? Did you when you got into your this relationship? Did you see signs where you said, "I can't do this this time," or did you say, "I knew it before that happened"? Does that make sense? Well, no, I mean, not the, well, the, the back part. You say I knew it before this happened. Meaning before you got in a relationship, I had already dealt with it. Dealt with whatever went wrong in that first relationship. Because I believe relationships is always twofold. I don't care how crazy the other person is or how not crazy you are. Then I think it's always twofold. And so I think we always have something we can learn in every relationship, right? right. And so because there's always something we can learn, is it something that you learned from that first relationship that, I brought that you brought into this relationship and knew that this is something I'm not going to do? Or do? I'm going to let her talk. I honestly feel like I didn't have, he didn't have no qualities of the bad things that I experienced in my last marriage. Okay. So I can honestly say that going into a relationship with him, I didn't have those those cons. Okay. All I'm looking at is pros. I got you. So you know what I'm saying. Sure. So we might, we had ups and downs, but it wasn't none of the things that were behind in my past. Got you. What about you, bro? Well, first of all, I'm glad she didn't listen to her girlfriend's because she's her girlfriend. Ah! Started on, he, ain't, he ain't even your type and all this we, and that. Right? We're going to go back to that. So, <laughs> I got something to say about that. But what I liked about Tanya, yeah. Tanya, Tanya made me feel like she got my back. She she was one of those no matter what. Mm. And she had my back. And I'll be honest with you. Yes. Did I put her to the test? Yes, I had to. I had to make sure she was tap up. Okay. You know, but she, uh, yeah, she proved yeah. you right. She proved yeah. you right. That's that's what's what's up. Up. That's that's she what's has up. to get my back. And, that, and that's, and I'm going to be honest with you, it ain't financially got my back or nothing like that. You know why I say back? Because we all getting up there in age. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Are you going to be that one that got my back where you're going to put me in a nursing home? Right. Right. Who you got my back that you're going to stay with me? You might have to wipe my ass. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just saying so. Ask her, but I know that's what she is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Well, put it like that. That's what she tell me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's good, though. Hey, no, 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 no. I don't have no problem with her paying for somebody to do it. I don't have no problem with her paying for somebody to do it. I don't have no problem with her paying for somebody to do it. I don't have no problem with her paying for somebody to do it. Somebody ever gave you about your relationship, about marriage? 
I say this. I don't, and I talk to Gail about this. Keep everybody. Yes. Your mama, your mama, your best friend, your, your sister. Close that off. Well, girl, I, no. It's between me and you. Mm. All our stuff is between me and you. <laughs> Anybody trying to come in and give advice, I don't care if it's my mama, my father, whoever. <laughs> 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 I'm just yeah, saying, ahead, yeah. I don't reflect that at all in that I'm not that type of person to begin with. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what you talking to me for about my stuff? You need to go check out your stuff. Well, to begin I, with, I, 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 I ain't say. got a homie in here that can call me, girl, what you about to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. So, what's the best advice that you've got? My late auntie told me. Never go to bed angry. Never go to bed. That's a good one. Yeah. Now, was that wasn't it. always successful. No. No. Couldn't be. What I think about it, you sometimes I put something on your mind. Just think about it. You should yeah. make you all uh, process different. Yeah. Uh, do anybody else believe in that, that philosophy? Don't go to bed angry. Yeah. Do y'all like it? So do I do? All right. So that's uh, go ahead. So my question would be: Is do you practice it? And if not, why? You, you can't I need somebody else to talk to me. Like, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I can't even do that. You, you, you know, want anybody else, else, else to talk to? Go ahead, Tony. I, 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 I try to practice it. So. Yeah, okay. I, do. I, like, I, like, I, like, I want to try to practice it. I'm not going to be successful. But I'm getting better at practice. We're getting better at practice. It wasn't always there. My thought idea about this is I go ahead. I do, I do be mad, but it subsides some of the time I get to bed. But when I wake up in the morning, everything I'm mad about is never there at first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. When the sun rises, it's another day. It's, 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 it's another day. That's how I feel. It's another day. Right. right. What was the best thing I I'll definitely, and I'll tell her this. I say, you know what? I was out one day. You know, I play cards. Mm -hmm. And I had a card partner. And <clears throat> one of the tiny girlfriends is at the uh, pleasure of her. And she said, girl. He up here playing, he up here with some curve. She's like, no, that's his car. No, I'm telling you, that's his, that's his, he, yeah, he, he should be up here with her. Mm. <laughs> 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 and now you know who the girl is. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, you got to ask, I told you, you got to ask yourself, what is she gaining by telling you that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. She had to see if anything, if she was a real woman. Mm -hmm. And she had an issue with that. Say something to me. Yeah. yeah. Don't go. You go back to try to tell my wife. All you try to do is break us up. So right. that go back to these rules up in here. Don't say something say to you. you. But that go back Hell, to man. But check. Jack, Jack go be like, uh, what do you think you're doing? Boy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to go next to you. I'm going to go next to you. I'm going to go next to you. I'm going to stand back. Right. And you all know. Like, get your shit in the hole. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, hold on, well, but that goes back to what Shub said. Keep everybody out of your house. And then you stay out of everybody else. Man, I, I've seen That's my friends, women, out at out places, man, with other people. Right. You know, I, I walked up, I was in a bar, I had like I didn't see all of it. You see one of my close partners, woman. Yeah. You know, act like I ain't seen nothing. And you know, she came over trying to explain, because she saw me, she's like, oh, shit. <laughs> so she came trying to explain it to me. I said, you ain't got to explain nothing to me. Whatever you got going on, that's between you and your husband. He'll figure it out or he won't. It ain't my job. Because I got enough in my own plane. I got my own family, right. my own wife to think about. Right. I ain't got time to worry about y'all. And see, that's another thing. So you say keep out of everybody else's stuff. Stay out, keep everybody out of children, you stay out of everybody. That's it. Yeah. And, Simple. A, and a person that, what was what, 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 uh, my mom used to say? A person that bring a bone. Carry my like carry bone. Mm -hmm. So the same person that's talking about mm -hmm. somebody else, mm -hmm. trust me. Mm -hmm. Is that you know, that's just food for thought. Yeah. But mm -hmm. back to the best advice. Best advice. Best right. advice. Quick, best advice my game. Wow, well, my, my late Uncle Pat. He was married for 54 years. And my, my auntie was sitting right there when he said it. And I told him I was gonna marry Nadine. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my favorite uncle. So right. it was like I wanted to give his blessing on everything. And he had met Nadine and he said, let me tell you something, man. Nadine's a good girl. He said, I like her. 
you know, it's a good woman. Mm -hmm. So he said, but let me tell you something about marriage. He said, uh, me and my wife been married 54 years. He said, you know why we've been married 54 years? He said, because she know who the man is. Mm. He said, there only could be one man in a relationship. Mm. Yeah, that's true. And he said, and if you have to ask who it is, it ain't you. Mm. <laughs> he said, there shouldn't be no doubt who the man in a relationship is. Yeah. That's yeah. it. He said, that's good stuff. If you yeah. roll with that, you'll be fine. Yeah. All right, so now. That's whoo, that's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right, so take that, ladies. Kitchen I want in the bedroom, Florida. The kitchen in the bedroom. Oh, not necessarily <laughs> that. No, but I got to in my mind. So, Jack, this is not Jack. I want to get your opinion on that on that philosophy right there. What you think? What? I forget. You gotta repeat the question. He said the, the best advice that he got was but that you have to know who the man in the house what? is, Me? and if there's a question. Oh. It's not then you. it's not you. I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I don't, I don't be honest. I don't even recall receiving marital advice uh -huh. just from anybody. Mm -hmm. I think me and Keith just kind of, you know, just went through it. That's an example. I, I didn't call nobody and say, "Hey, he doing this," or I don't know if he called anybody, but I didn't, I didn't talk to nobody. Well, I talked to my father. But y'all, I'm a big girl. I want to know what big girl said. Big girl say, hey, Jackie, a good girl. You out here. Oh, you, you, dumb. Uh, <laughs> you, need to, you need to take care. No, listen, listen to that. And I'm like, huh. I, one of my she favorite said, yeah. elders of all time. Got you, shoot. Yeah, come on now. Cause so. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, he just said, she a good girl. You need to take care of she by your side. She did have my back. Back then. Mm -hmm. Back then. Back then. More than she do now. Okay. Well, well, you gotta understand. Whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's time. Time. Whoa. 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 Whoa.
that he said was, he said that he doesn't feel like his back is being protected. As much as, as, much as it was it before. Be. And so, let's talk about this. Not just you all in particular, because mm -hmm. I don't want to put no couple on the spot. But one of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the first one, is security. And one thing about, I think that, because he's a man, and I think that as a man, one thing we want to know is, Donnell just said, the main thing we want to know is, do you have my back? And if you don't have my back, I don't care what the situation is, then I'm going to have a problem. Yeah. I had, I'll give you an example. We was young, and I got locked up. I went to jail. Just hold on. I went, you was there, or you wasn't there. Right. <laughs> and so what happened was, I wish you was. Yeah, nigga, you the one that was locked up. Not that I remember now. Jeez, we both in jail. Not that word. 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 Forgive me for the word. But yeah. Bring me. My point is, is that I went to jail, and she didn't come get me out of jail. My father ended up coming to get me out of jail. Hmm. But look, check out what happened. I said to her at that time, I said this, I meant that, and, and she knew I meant it. Because I let a lot of stuff go. So I told her this. I said, let me tell you something. If I ever go to jail, you don't never come get me again, don't you never come back to me again. Because I don't need nobody that will leave me locked up. Hmm. I told her just like that, and I meant that. A hundred percent. And guess what? From that day forward, she never tried to make a point. I think she was trying to make a point that night, but I didn't like the point. So, because I didn't feel that she had my back. Say that was many years ago. We was mm -hmm. in our 20s. Have you been locked up since? And they've been locked up since. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
because I don't agree with you, so you classify that as I don't have your back. Right. That's not that's so. True. Go get that's true. True. You go, girl. Right. That, that's not so. So that's where understanding mm -hmm. comes in. Mm -hmm. so I, and so, miscommunication, misunderstanding. So we need to understand what, do you have my back? But do, where, you know, where when, some, when, when someone says, do you have my back, I automatically, the back side of somebody is the bad side. When you have my front, that's when you're moving forward. Mm -hmm. So am I supporting your dreams? I, am I supporting your endeavors? Mm -hmm. You know, that's important. You want me to be by you when you ain't, when you ain't got it all together? And you want me to be by you when you got it together and you move it forward. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to, that's, it doesn't always come naturally. That's something that we have to work on sometimes. And vice versa. Mm -hmm. Our husband needs to have our back when we miss the mark. Mm -hmm. And then you also need to have our back if we decide I want to go back to school. Mm -hmm. I want to... I want to start my own business. I get that. But what but here what I'm getting at, so so we won't got that much time. Here what I'm getting at, right? I'm not saying that you you don't feel like we have your back or you don't feel that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying what scenarios, because you gotta if you tell me how you feel, I can't say you don't feel that way. I can't say your feelings is misunderstood because I didn't mean to do that. So if he feels that his back isn't covered, that's, then that's feeling. not something that can be dismissed with, uh, well, you need to understand that I do have your back. You just don't know I have your right. back. Mm -hmm. That's true. Right. I, I get it. And so that's a time where when, when, that, when, when that incident or that moment says, okay, now I'm feeling like you don't have my back, mm -hmm. then we need to talk this thing out and we need to reason. We need, the Bible said, let's come together and reason. Mm -hmm. We need to put our brain together and we need to come to some reasoning here so that I'm not leaving this conversation feeling like you don't have my back. Absolutely. And that you're not leaving the conversation feeling like you're, I'm not hearing you. Absolutely. And I like what Mel said, we be having a conversation right then and there. Right. Not a week right. later, not a month later, yes. not a year exactly. later. Yes. Well, tell me this. Does it matter when I have a conversation if I'm feeling a certain type of way? Well, if you're feeling that way, that conversation needs to happen like right now. Because that's the least thing. So tell me this. Now, we've been married for like Ever. 70 years. <laughs> and that's the least thing that I've had to worry Simpsons about. Was funny. <laughs> that's the least thing I've had to worry about with Gail. Now, you know, I can be a challenge at times. <laughs> <laughs> Say anyway, though. This is something I wanted to share. 
And she is my wife. I should have known she was going to bring it up. But something that, that I believe God shared, I, I, get, I feel like spiritually God gave this to me, is that when you have situations and circumstances, your issues or anybody's issues, it's not about the issue itself. It's not about you and it's not about her. It's about you being in agreement. Hear what I'm saying. The Bible says this. The Bible says when any two shall touch and be in agreement, then I can establish my covenant. And in the covenant is the promises. In the promises is the prosperity, is the healing, is the happiness, is the joy, is the peace. Yeah. So what happens is if you believe spiritually or you believe in adversarial forces outside, it comes to attack your agreement, yeah. to attack the covenant, so that the breaking is not in the covenant no longer. So now the promises are disrupted. So now disruption is in your home. So when you look at a circumstance and you look at a situation, because I'm not your enemy, your enemy is coming after our agreement. Yes. So Absolutely. if my wife doesn't feel comfortable in any area, and I was going to talk about blended kids, been blended families, but we're running out of time. But I have a son that's not by my wife. And if my wife ever treated him different than what she has shown me these years, it would have been a devastating blow to everybody. Right. Because her kids see how she treats their brother. Right? But because she always embraced him, it was because she didn't want to break the agreement. Mm -hmm. What was the agreement? That what's yours is mine. Mm -hmm. And what's mine is yours. Mm -hmm. So we out of town. Mm -hmm. Hold on. This is one thing. <laughs> Between 1980 and 2000, <laughs> 21% of divorces happen. Mm -hmm. In 2020, 39% of marriages end in divorce. Well, listen, I'll tell you this. I'll even go further. In the church, what they call the body, the church, the mm -hmm. religious sector, mm -hmm. divorce rate is 50% or higher. Mm -hmm. And it's been in, in the church. church. Inside the church. Well, it's one of the shadiest people in the world. <laughs> but listen to what I'm saying. Everybody in there trying to recover. But hear what I'm saying. I'm saying divorce happens to all walks of oh, life. True. Absolutely. Because why? They don't get in settings like this that someone can sit in your face and tell you he's not your enemy, she's not your enemy. Mm -hmm. To get into a place to say you have to plan that you can go forward. And when you plan, you all stay in agreement. There's nothing that you can do. Rick says something. You got to know who the man is in your house. A man, a wise man, a wise woman builds a house, a wise man manages his house. And he knows his shortcomings, and he knows his strengths, mm -hmm. and he knows how to he knows how to let go, mm -hmm. and he knows how to grab hope. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? We in this together, and together we stand. <coughs> Divide we fall. That's Absolutely. it. And we out of time. We ain't out of love, man. No, good stuff. Domino tips. Domino tips. All right, and we got one more thing. We we usually give domino tips of the day, but this is such a I, I love the feel of how it's going. So let's give a domino tip. So since Don, since Donnell brought it up, what's the domino tip of the day? Donnell let Rick sit in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> get your ass whooped. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be me. Look at the chips. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I domino. All right, what's your what's your been domino man? We played five times. Right. Yeah. Four. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, Rick, give me give 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 him a domino tip of the day. Uh, the domino tip of the day, man, is to know which way the board goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which way are we going? Right. It's to know that you always go to the right. Okay. Hey, I'm going to stop giving the domino tip. tip. <laughs> Cut, you got to stop putting the air on. Matter of fact, hey, you, hey, you, you get them a domino tip because right. I know what they got. So, look, it's not too scared you got to start Uh, know how to count. Yeah. <laughs> no how to add, huh? Hey, right, my so domino tip with your is it ain't nothing you can't learn on YouTube. <laughs> and I was determined not to feed Donnell. I fed he ate so good off of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Hey man, dudes and domino's, make sure you go to that button, you subscribe. 
Do this. Share this, man, because I'm telling you, it'll bless your life and it'll bless someone else. Y'all yeah. give it up. Give God some praise, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.